cab seems pretty decent. Today I went long on oil. Keep an eye on it. 77.58 silver. I'd go short right now. If possible, I'd suggest adding the crypto and American markets. Check out other markets. The Forex market is just dead. It's really bad and quite depressing. So don't expect much from it right now. The market's in a sad state. Let's move on. People have been asking about natural gas. Let me give you some insights on that. I recommend trading natural gas only if you know what you're doing. Natural gas is a very tricky asset. It can hit your stop losses right away. You won't even have time to react. For me as a professional, natural gas and silver are the toughest to trade. Here's my advice. If you don't know how to trade, uh, stay away from natural gas. It's definitely not for you. All right, moving on. AUD isn't ready. It's at a really tough level. That level hasn't been relevant for a while. I tried moving it here. AUD is at a really difficult level. CHF is dead. Those on our pro channel already know this. I've mentioned that Forex looks really bad. It's been performing very poorly. GBP is dead. CAD. The Canadian dollar looks okay. It has levels at 1.37, 1.42, and 1.43. Those are decent levels for the Canadian dollar. The Canadian is pretty much the only thing that looks good. Oil, by the way, I went long on oil today. Take a close look. 77.58, just so there's no confusion. Oil, 77.58 long. It did well there. 50, 60 cents. Good for taking profit. It's worth it, definitely worth it. I don't touch the Turkish lira. Silver, I'd go short on silver now. 29.36. I'll post it in the Telegram channel. So moving on, gold. Gold is holding up better than silver. You see, you can adjust the level this way. Gold is looking better so far. S&P, I gave a long signal today. Just so you know, here's the S&P 500. Long S&P 500 today. Let's go. EURKD. Check out Euro-Canadian dollar. It's on the sheet today. Look closely. The Euro-Canadian dollar performed very well. Euro-Canadian was on the sheet today. All the movements that happened today. GBP NZD was also short. GBP NZD was short. I went in two. Today, out of five recommendations, four worked out positively on Forex. All right, let's note that down. Actually, all five worked out. Let's move on. GBP, JPY is a tough situation, a really tough market, a very difficult market indeed. Now, let's keep going and take a look. There are a lot of one-day reversals. By the way, this is a good level, a clear level, market down, moving on, nothing, 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 nothing. I try not to give czar. Yeah, I try not to give czar. It's a tough currency to trade. The Mexican peso is a nightmare. My advice is simple. You know what they say in Odessa? No one will forgive good advice. My advice is this. Learn to trade everything. Learn to trade stocks. Learn to trade crypto. Learn to trade literally everything. Look here. The coin I recommended today went up 50%. Some people say there's no good movement in altcoins. But altcoins are just taking off. Just insane. Pay attention. I made this recommendation today. And it's up 50%. Second tip. Those who watched my pro channel know what I'm talking about. Those who didn't are missing out. Well, that one went up 300%. So I recommended a coin here, up 300%, almost 400%. The next coin was BNB, and I remember them from memory. Look closely, BNB, $700, check it out. I recommended it at $630. Today, it's already at $700, more than 